Hi guys, how's it going today? I'm just waiting for Jason. Yeah. I'm at the airport. Good morning, Missy. Good morning. How's Missy doing today? <laughs> yeah? Okay. Me and Missy and Moomoo are just going for a nice morning walk. Aren't we, Miss? Okay, let's go. Come on, baby. <laughs> She goes for her little pee. <laughs> Good girl. Playing around, having fun. Go back now, baby. Want to finish her walk? <laughs> That's a train. You hear the train? Okay, let's go. Her morning walk. Mm -hmm. Me and Jason are, are in two separate cars because we're driving my parents' car to the airport. <laughs> there he is. Here's the hotel right here. There's the airport. They're like right across from each other. That's funny. Just waiting for Jason to come find me. <laughs> Hopefully he can. <laughs> hey, where are you? <laughs> oh, there he is. He found me. There's my boyfriend, Jay. Yay! You too, Rip, Jason says. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drift this one day. I'm gonna get a new Sylvia. It's gonna be a good time. Look at it. It's just like the best turn in the world. I will drift this in the Sylvia for you guys. Uh. Look, we'd still be going. And at this point, as soon as you get straight, you put your foot to the floor so you don't crash. <laughs> then you bounce her up right over there. Hey, I don't want to go to work. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? Just got back from the airport, dropping off for Shell's parents' car to them because we're getting back from Cuba today. Now I'm just back babysitting again with this beautiful little tiny girl. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Say hey, YouTube. What are you guys up to today? You guys having a good day? You getting through all those life struggles we all have? Yeah, just look at Fort McMurray. It's burning down up there. And that just tells you how quick life changes, guys. Life is short. Life changes instantly. You never know when there's going to be a fire to burn down your whole town. You know, keep going through that struggle, guys. Oh, what's up, darling? What's up? What's up? Oh, what's up? No, I'm here now. I'm here to hang out and play. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? All right. All right. I'll come play. All right. Pad, did you? You pee right next to it? You need to pee right next to your pee pad by mistake. 
Oh, you can pee right next to it. <laughs> yeah, she's a cutie, guys. She's an Australian Labradoodle. She's about almost two months old. Just growing and growing, aren't you? You learning about your inside voice? Hey, you learning about your What's the plan? What's the plan? <laughs> Persistence always teaches, guys. I mean, if you want to learn this stuff, you know, stick around on our channel, hit subscribe. We're going to be spending a lot of time with this little girl. Hey! 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 Do I want you to rip my pants? Hey! Hey! Look at her! <laughs> she thinks she's allowed to do that stuff. No. We'll get her rid of that eventually. Look, you got your own toy player. That one seems so much funner. That one seems so much funner. Hey! That's Jeeb! Hey! Hey! That's Jeeb! Hey! That's Jeeb! You don't want to eat Jeeb. <laughs> That's funny. Some of the best tricks that you guys can do for your newborn puppies is, like, as soon as you come home, don't run and pick them up right away. Like, even if they're still crying for a minute, don't run and grab them right away. You know, they're just like children. If you, they're going to get used to you coming home and picking them up. They're going to get used to you coming home every day and picking them up. So they're going to cry for that, no matter what, if you train them that way. But, <laughs> if you know, you just stick to your routine, you know, go see them a few minutes after you get home, they're going to eventually understand that you don't get them right away, you don't come pick them up right away. This is just her learning time right now. Hey, you like my sweater? I look like you. <laughs> this is just her learning time right now, but... Everything you do when she's young at two months old, she's going to remember when she's two years old. So you guys remember that when you're training your puppy, because it's all the same whether it's a cat, a dog, any animal, really. My dog, she's an 80-pound pit bull, Missy, she knows sign language. <laughs> I have her trained that when I go like this, hand to the cheek, she sits down. So This means don't talk. That means don't bark. You know, This means one minute. She's weird, but she's trained real neat. I'll show you guys the more and more you keep getting into this channel. I hope you enjoy this stuff. You know, keep going with us. First school's a thousand. Get to watch this little rascal some more. <laughs> and our crazy life and what we do. And, you know, we're going to build this YouTube channel to something big. You just watch. All it takes is to know it. And we know it. So, we're ready. I hope you guys can join this team and this family. Woo! Cool. Oh, show me something cool. You guys are out there dreaming big, you know, doing your goals and still trying. Keep applying every single day. You know, I'm in the same struggle as you, and the same struggle as your friend, the same struggle as your mom or your dad, you know. You're never gonna, you know, go forward unless you don't try. I still apply every day just like you guys. The fact is, if you stop trying, if you stop applying, stop making those YouTube videos, you're never gonna get forward, guys. I understand that. That's why I keep doing this to move forward. Always work hard. Never forget, change comes to those who actually change. <laughs> if you don't change your friends, if you don't change what you do, if you don't change those bad habits, those bad spending, those drugs, those you know, whatever your bad habit is, or whatever you like to blow your money on, or if you're lazy and don't apply and talk about it all the time that you want a job, if you don't change you, simply just, you won't change, so. Just keep working hard, guys. Always dream big. You never know what you're capable of. There you go. <laughs> go small, that little cutie is. Hey. Hey, what's up? Go small, you yeah. You having fun? Mm, so Missy sits. Missy's 80 pounds and she sits just like this. 
Yeah, I'll show you guys that one day too. My dog's 80 pounds and she sits exactly like this. She's like a big little baby. And guys, your animals are going to be, when they're a puppy, they don't know the difference between like biting and stuff like that. And like, they don't know the difference between barking and biting at you, so you gotta kind of teach them. And you can't do it by hitting them, you can't do it by beating them. Hey! But, my biggest trick is push their tongue down. If they're biting you, just push their little tongue down. Hey! Yeah, you just gotta distract them. You just gotta distract them, guys. If they keep biting at you and barking, getting on your nerves and stuff, just take a little breather and relax. And just remember, they're puppies. They're like kids. You just gotta give them something to do. And then they'll be distracted from your feet or your pants, playing with their toys instead. Hey, babe. You ever having fun? You having fun? Where'd you poop? That's not on your pad. Your pad's over there where you peed on. Hey. Your pad's over there where you peed on. I'm going to show you guys how to train them to get used to peeing and pooping on their pad at the same time. Chandler knows how to pee. Hey. Come here. Right now, she only knows how to pee on the pad. So, this is what we do to teach them how to poop on the pad. Hey. See where your poop is? Hey, look. You see where your poop is? See? See? That's where you're supposed to poop and pee on your pad. <laughs> See? Hey! See? You just make them smell it, you put it on their pad, and then they'll get used to it eventually. And these condos are like the best. Hey. I know you want to play, but you don't want to play. You having fun? How can I talk to YouTube if you bark the whole time? <coughs> See guys, eventually they get used to that sound. They're gonna keep barking and barking a little bit, but eventually they get used to that nice calm sound of shh. Instead of yelling at your dogs, because they really don't understand what you mean when you're yelling at them and screaming at them. They don't get cursing, they don't understand that stuff. So simple things like that, you know, teaches your puppy. You know? Oh, you having fun, babe? <laughs> We're just babysitting a little baby girl today. Little Sybil.